What's going on, guys? This video is more of a trucking video. This is going to be for my people out there trucking and uh, in this market today. What's going on, man? So, I'm at the shipper right now. Just got finished getting loaded. And, uh, and uh, it's been a uh, little bit of a frustrating few days. Um, a little bit of a frustrating few days. At a place where, I, where it's usually, um, I don't get too frustrated. You know what I mean? And, uh, and usually a guy that, from my past experience, has never been anything but kind. You know what I mean? I kind of felt like uh, um, I was frustrated with him just a tad bit yesterday. Especially his word choice. Um, um, but yeah, so this is what happened. So, I usually go to this place, right? And, and it's a, a ship I've went to 15 to 20 times. And um, it's usually always smooth when I go to this place. Um, usually, I mean, I've never, I mean, it's it's never... Because it's one of those places where you got to park, you got to get out of your truck, and you got to go wait inside because they don't like for drivers to be in their trucks. So those places are always kind of annoying because there's things you could be handling while you're getting loaded, paperwork and stuff like that, right? But you, So you got to adjust. But you know what I mean? This is a place where if you get into it with anyone there and they don't want you back there, then you got to find a new job because this is where all our business comes from. Um, So... I had to keep that in mind, you know what I mean? So, yesterday, I mean, so the last two times, but like I said, this this is usually a place where besides having to get out of your truck, it's everybody's really nice, um, and, and, uh, and you know, and it's just, you know, good country folk, you know what I mean? So, anyway, um, the last two times coming here have been rough, right? So, the last time I came here, um, I... I uh, got here, my, my dispatch told me, hey, man, you get there by 2, and then you'll be good to go, right? Get loaded and you know, all that good stuff. So I got there at, like, noon. And when I got there at noon, the guy told me, hey, well, you, you're you you supposed to be, if you, we're, we stopped loading after 11. So because you weren't here before 11, this is my first time hearing that in over 15, 20 times of going there. But then again, I'm usually, like, always, um always uh like like uh on on appointment schedule too so it kind of did concern me that it wasn't an appointment it was like a first come first serve but then i thought about it. i'm just like well um i'm just like well it's 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 a uh it just I, I don't know it's just my first time doing it i guess it's just gonna be something different so then i uh get there he, so he makes me wait right so that one day cost me a whole week right so i didn't make any money that week i probably had a zero dollar check because of that you know what i mean so then this was this was the week before and then yesterday i got there and it's uh i get there first thing monday morning and uh and um so then i get there yesterday morning and he's like uh you know, you guys are supposed to have an appointment. Um, we're not going to be able to load you. Uh, you're going to have to wait, get an appointment and come back tomorrow, right? So I'm like, dang, this is two times in a row. So I'm like, I call dispatch. I'm like, hey, hey, bro, like, what's going on with this thing? Like, they're telling me they're not going to be able to load me until tomorrow. We got to have an appointment. And he's like, what? He's like, let me, let me call him back and I'll call you back. So then... I call, he calls me back and he's like, I'm not sure what confusion is going on on their end, but you know, they're going to pay you a layover for making you wait another day. And then we're going to get you loaded first thing tomorrow morning. Right. So, which is fine. That's a couple hundred dollars. Right. But when you think of in the grand scheme of things, a whole week now, now I'm at the point where it's going to take me three days to drop off this load, right. To get back. And then if I, if I don't make it, if I if I make it, well, I'll probably make it back there Friday because it's Tuesday, right? Or maybe sometime on Friday, maybe early Saturday morning. So then I don't know if I'm going to be able to get another load picked up and start running it by Friday, Saturday at the latest, right? Because if I don't, then what did it just not cost me? A whole nother week, right? So that's a whole nother week, man. So um, well, his word choice too, and he was like, 
I think he was maybe frustrated because they were really jam packed too. So I could kind of understand. He's like, well, if, 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 um, because he was trying to figure out if they're going to be able to load me. He was like, well, man, probably, you're probably going to be fucked either way it goes because, and then when he said that, it kind of like triggered something to me. Like, where have I thought of that before? You know what I mean? But anyway, so that, you know, that kind of opened up my eyes to a little, you know, so we'll see what comes with it. But he's usually a really nice guy, though. So I, I really couldn't, I really couldn't um, say I was frustrated at him or more, fr I was more frustrated at the situation because he's always been a uh, really cool guy the whole time. You know what I mean? So I can't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to just take that and just make it more than what it may have been. But at the same time, you know, back to back, and then the guy, like, I kind of, I'm like, and then the guy that's loaded me, he's like, this morning, then I get back there this morning and get loaded. And yeah, this is the third thing. Then I get there this morning and get loaded, and then they're like, He's like, um, okay, yeah, so you're going to have one truck in front of you, and then once that truck goes, you know, um, you'll, you'll be able to uh, get loaded, right? So then I get unloaded. So then I go to the back because it's like 7 in the morning. I'm like, man, I'm going to take like a little 30-minute nap because it's going. it takes at least 45 minutes to an hour per every truck. I'm not sure why it does that. It's just the way it is. So I go back there 45 minutes. And then I talked to another driver. He's a newer driver. So I like telling him, look, man, when this truck goes, you go in and then I'm behind you, right? I wake up, look back. It's a whole nother truck there that wasn't even in the equation at all. And the guy that was supposed to be in front of me is now waiting on that truck. I walk back to him. I'm like, man, what happened? He's like, well, they came out and told me that they had to load him and then they're going to load me. Then they're going to load you. I'm like, dang. So now they sent me back, right? So now it's late in the day. I'm making a video and uh, probably just lost another day. You know what I mean? So uh, it's been a frustrating week. And like I said, since October to February, I've probably had four good weeks, which means that's $8,000, right? But from January to October, I probably made like 100000 You know what I mean? So, but, and then I like... And I didn't take any time off pretty much during that time. But then after that, I'm talking about it got so slow. Like, it's been slow still. But, like, it's like now, like, we just got to the point where I started getting, you know, usually they'll send us five, six, seven loads. And we choose from which one we want to go to, right? So that's just now started back happening in the last few weeks. So I'm about to get back uh, to the south and then see what happens, you know, see if I'm going to get that opportunity again. Or see and see if we're picked back up because this is usually this is what we picked up at last year, so we should be good to go. But I mean, you know, I would definitely like to be taking time off around this time. I would like to be, you know, have enough money because obviously I'm about to have. I made 210 grand last year. I'm gonna have to pay taxes on that, and so you know, I'm not going out and just just explosion because I know that that's coming. You know what I mean? But then again, I also, you know, made 20000 in per diem last year, too. So that's going to be a, t a tax deduction. So it shouldn't be too bad. But, um, but yeah, man, so it's been a frustrating little past few weeks, bro. But, like, I know that I'm not the only one going through, like, the BS out here. But it's definitely BS out here. It's definitely noticed and it's not appreciated. You know what I'm saying? It's not appreciated at all. For real, for real, bro. But I have been getting a lot of rest, though, too. So, you know, God works in mysterious ways. So I'm sure, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not hurting for money. I'm not hurting for cash. But it's still, like, I I, I should at least have a more. I should at least have an, more than what I have right now. Thirty to 60000 in my pocket I should at least have right now that I don't have. You know what I mean? Which is frustrating as fuck. I'm not even going to lie. It really is truly fucking irritating. It pisses me off, but um, what can you do about it? But keep pushing, you know what I mean? Because it's not, I'm not, I'm doing everything that I can to get, I'm getting every load there on time. I'm taking the taking the loads and, I, I, you know, it, it's the market is slow, bro. The work's just not there, you know what I mean? And I'm not going back to work local to where I still have, now I got more expenses and I'm making less money. Make that make sense. You know what I mean? So, um... Anyway, yeah, so that's my little situation right now, man. But we're just going to push it through it. I'm about to go ahead and uh, tighten up this load and then um, head back, man. So we'll see if I lost another week or um, 
if I'm gonna um, keep rolling, man, so. Shit. Only thing we can do is what we can do, man. You know what I mean? Like I said, God works in mysterious ways. I'm a little bit frustrated right now. I'm sure he understands that, but um, you know what I mean? We just gotta keep pushing, man. And there's more motivation for the gym. Shit is at the worst case scenario, man. All right, y'all take it easy, man. Have a good one and uh keep trucking, man.